millions of people go from all over India. And now, many people in the Western world, outside of India, they love Dharma, they love the Bhagavad Gita, they love the teachings of the Acharyas of India. So they're becoming Dharmic. They love to go to the perfection of life, to achieve moksha, to achieve bhakti, all these lofty goals which the Vedas have announced, they embrace them, they also follow rules, they stop eating meat, fish and eggs, they stop drinking wine and smoking, they stop to have sexual relationships outside of the marriage, they stop gambling, they don't go to the casino, they follow a dharmic lifestyle like our great acharyas, like Sri Padashankara Acharya and Ramuna, Ramanuja Acharya, Madhva Acharya, Nimbarka Acharya, Vishnu Swami have taught in their examples. Now, when they come to India to offer their obeisances to the Lord, they have chosen, they have followed uh, the principle of Achuta. This is Achutta Gotram because they have accepted Lord Krishna as their master and guru and guide. So they have become members of the family of Lord Krishna also. The, in one way or another they have become Indian bridge bhasis. But then they go to Jagannath Puri to offer their obeisances to Lord Jagannath and they are not allowed in the temple. They are dealt with like they are, uh, like they are not trustworthy, not clean enough to come in and to see the Lord. Now, maybe personally a person can be humble and says, oh, I'm not qualified, uh, I cannot see Lord Jagannath like a humble devotee. But for the image of Hinduism, for the image of the generosity of this great message for the whole world to come to a unity and peace and love, the m message, like he said, the mother of peace, our Ramanujacharya said, then there has to be this kind of generosity. And when this is not coming, then it sounds like caste consciousness. Like, and caste consciousness means dividing society to inimical factions. And we all want to come to get the mercy. So in this sense, I'm not coming to claim or to, to uh, complain. I'm simply coming to beg. To beg on behalf of the image of our Dharma so that the whole world will enthusiastically understand that Hinduism has never given pain or, or war to others to make them Hindus or to subject them like Christians and Muslims and there are so many religious wars but Hinduism never has made any war. They want everybody to come to love the truth because Satyam Shivam Sundaram, it is the most beautiful, the most auspicious thing, the highest <laughs> truth. So, but it should be practiced in such a way that people can actually happily convert and feel received and accepted in this beautiful Braj. Well, in Braj we are welcome. Now we feel very good here. You know there's many people coming doing Govardhan Parikrama and Vrindavan Parikrama. It's just this thing of the, the temples which are close to the foreigners. That's one of the things we are humbly requesting the authority to reassess, to think about it, to think about how in the past of India there's the famous story in Udupi where the Lord himself, Madhvacharya's deity, he turned around to look at the the Sudra devotee, because he wasn't allowed to come in the temple, so even the Lord himself turned around and said, then I don't look this way, I look the way to my devotee. So in this way, the Lord and the devotees are very generous, and this love we like to show to the world, that Hinduism has something very valuable to give to the whole world. Swamiji, good, good, good talk. Uh, you, you say that uh, Hinduism is not involved with any bar and other, uh, other uh, castes uh, in, involved in like. But uh, I, I want to know what is the reason the Western countries is also uh, attracted to, to the Lord Krishna. Uh, why not uh, 100 years ago? Why not uh, this may be possible? This may be possible. They did, not get the, they did not get the mercy of a great Vaishnava. Srila A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami Prabhupada but especially him, he's my guru. He went and he gave the seed of bhakti. 
Like uh, this morning, our our Purushottamji was giving class. He says a Vaishnava can give the mercy by the touch of his feet, by the touch of his head, hand, and by his embrace. So uh, when it is a time to spread out, they will spread out. The Britishers, they were blind. They were only looking, what can we take from here? But they didn't take the great jewel, which was India's love. They just wanted gold and jewels from the deities. So they were apparatus. And when you are apparati, then you cannot get the mercy. You cannot see what is the jewel. All the jewels in the world, jewels in the one mountain, are not as valuable as one Bhagavad Gita. <laughs> huh?